on a cold and chilly night. <laughs> okay, on the other side of this door, I've got a batch of Freetail swag. This is off Interstate 49, exit 69. At the end of this video, I'll insert a clip showing specific directions here. Just a few minutes off the interstate. Unit 81, it's in Johnson. Anyways, look at the end of the video. There it is, nice little batch of stuff. This is the Freetail, uh, the Curb, a Freetail store. For those of you that haven't watched these videos before, what I do here is drop off dumpster dive, uh, scavenging action paraphernalia. Uh, I've got some nice stuff in here tonight. Trike and some tools and a sewing machine. And I think we decided this was an obo, I think is what people were saying. It's kind of a neat little thing. I think that's what they were saying. Oboe it sounds right. I don't know for sure. But uh, let me get in here and I'll show you what's going on. So if you come off the interstate, if you wouldn't mind drawing in your home state. Let's see, that light's probably too bright. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, we got Nebraska. We got Nebraska in the house. That's a new one. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, drawing your home state where you're coming from if you're coming off the interstate. Okay, so let's see. We'll start off with uh, another one of these. That's missing one wheel. You could just take the other three wheels off and it'll sit nice, or maybe you got another wheel sitting around. And then these, I'm not sure what these were. Um, they almost look like some kind of swimming pool device. Maybe a little extra, extra flotation for people that aren't real good at treading water. Maybe I don't know for sure what those are, but there's some kind of some kind of floaty type deal material. And then that looks in there. I'll just leave that there. Oh, the helmet's still in here. I thought somebody took the helmet a long time ago. Shoot, it needs to be out here and open. I don't know why someone put it in there. It's a decent little helmet. It's in need of repair. It's a small, it's a small one. Size small. It's not bad. Someone could probably do something with that if they really wanted to. Uh, when it's free, stuff becomes desirable, you know. Someone probably wouldn't buy that for a dollar at a garage sale, but if it's free, look, I just broke it again some more. <laughs> Sorry. But if someone, as soon as it's free, all of a sudden the ideas spring up. Oh, it's free? I can repair that, sure. But uh, here's a little uh, grass seed spreader, I think. Scott's. Uh, I suppose it could be for other things than grass seed, like uh, some kind of uh, fertilizer pellets for your yard or what have you. But that works real nice to it. Real nice one. I was gonna keep that for myself, but it's real nice. I really don't have a need for it. I'll try to get in the house eventually, but uh, I personally, I wouldn't have any trouble just spreading it with my hands if I had to. But well, I suppose if you had yourself a little garden, that would come in nice. Uh, 5,000 square feet turf builder broadcast spreader. I guess it's a specific deal. Feed regularly for healthy lawns. So it's a fertilizer spreader, I suppose. Okay. So to explain real quick, if someone's new out there watching, the way I make money is through this tip jar. And I make ad revenue from ads like this. Some people may have just seen an ad right there. Other people may not have. But uh, I'll insert a few ads. And the little ad revenue I generate is how I make money. And then I get a, give all this stuff away for free and still make money. So that's kind of neat. This vacuum cleaner I've had in my storage for, uh, I think, a couple of years now. And I didn't test it just now, but I'm pretty sure I tested it earlier. Oh, shoot, that canister's got stuff in it. 
I wouldn't have had it in my storage unit if I didn't test it out and knew it worked. Because I usually just cut the cords off these dudes. But uh, that's not a bad one. I thought I had got that out of there. There's actually some dust in there. So it looks like some pet hair maybe. But uh, it's been sitting in my storage for at least two years. So any kind of fleas or bed bugs or whatever nasty stuff I say could be in there. There's there's no chance of that being in there after that long, sitting through winters and stuff. So, uh, it, uh, shoot, uh, I don't like putting that kind of stuff in here. But uh, at least I know it's been sitting through a couple winters, so I don't, I don't think there's any chance of anything being in there nasty other than dust and stuff. Pet hair. Here's a little beaver paddle and oars. Beaver brand. What is it? As I say, something.com on there. Anyways, this has got a slight bend to it. Had I noticed that before, I probably would have taken this to the scrapyard. But uh, it's still, it's still solid and strong. It's definitely got a slight bend to it. But those usually don't last long in here. So I've had other paddles in here, and they get snatched up pretty quick. So, uh, let's see here. I got this little grill. I had another grill earlier I said I was going to put in here, but I broke the handle off of it. And I decided just to take it to the scrapyard. There's a nice little grill right there. I like it. It's got the little secure handle. Slips up here. Makes it real nice good little grill and then we've got a back wrap therapeutic hot and cool for use as a hot back wrap for use as a cool back wrap it's got some good weight to it i think it's brand new or else i wouldn't put it in here i wouldn't do like a used deal on that kind of that kind of stuff but the package you know split open but uh someone could probably get some good use out of that i guess i'll put this back down here it's nice let's see how you with the cover removed, place in a clean microwave and heat 30 second intervals until warm, uh, optimal warmth is achieved. Uh, for cool, cover in plastic and place in the freezer overnight. Secure around any part of your body. That's a real dense blanket. And then I got this little air tool. There might be some people out there that want that. I don't know if it works or not. Uh, I usually just scrap stuff like that. But breakage is at like three cents a pound. I think it maybe came no, I think it's still at three cents. So that would only be like six cents. So I don't know. If it doesn't work, you can just take it to the scrapyard. It's like a little staple gun, I think. A uh, nail gun. Anyways, yeah, someone could probably have a look at that. Scrapyard at minimum. And then I got some DVD players. A little Magnavox, two Magnavox. Uh, one of them's got the audio video cables, and older ones. Uh, that one's also audio video RCA, whatever. Neither one of them have an HDI port. But instead of taking out the scrapyard for two cents a pound on tin shed, or see if anybody wants to salvage those and use those i'm not sure if they work or not i could probably take those to a pawn shop or you could take them to a pawn shop if they work and get a few dollars for them Ugh. i'm just trying to get rid of stuff i got too much stuff i need to get rid of so i got these hoppy legs these turned out to be called adult kangaroo shoes uh there was also another name for them can't remember offhand what it was. Uh, but one of these, this one I think is fine. All the straps look intact on that one. The other one, the strap is busted. I think that's why they got tossed away. See that strap right there? The shot snapped off. See that? So I suppose you could 
you could probably jimmy rig it a little bit if you really really wanted to uh i was gonna do that myself you know just get some kind of strap and just wrap around there uh it's nothing big no big deal to tie your foot on there just need to make it up for that oh shoot that one's busted too dang it they're both busted anyways this will only be three cents a pound at the scrapyard as well so i figure i'd give those a chance somebody out there could probably fix those oh shoot look at that it's just a screw you could probably get new straps for them you could probably find straps for those on the internet no big deal now that i think about it i didn't realize it was just a screw you had to take out so yeah you could probably order something like that no problem on amazon just google the brand name of these or there's another name for them i can't remember offhand what it was but if you just google adult kangaroo shoes you'll be able to find that strap i'm sure we've got craftsman here big old case this is kind of nice problem is i don't have the power or the battery charger for them but uh got a little emergency light battery operated and a little circular saw that one's got the battery on it uh doesn't have a charge but uh i would probably keep this for myself if i had the right adapter and stuff but i've already got a circular saw and i actually don't have, i don't have one of these i'd like to keep that but it's just a big bulky box and i just got loads of stuff i need to get rid of uh craftsman it's hard to sell this kind of stuff without the power adapter i mean i could get a power adapter and then sell it but if i buy the power adapter i might find out that there's got a problem or whatever but i would just take that to the scrapyard and be done with it but i'll give someone out there who works with that kind of stuff you know they might they might already have adapter for it you know but uh Anyways, I could do a lot of stuff. This is just, it's just doing it in bulk and mass. This vacuum I was gonna keep for myself. It's brand new. I'll show you this. I'll pop this open real quick. It's never been used. This was in a in a cardboard box, sealed up when I found it. And I had this in my apartment for maybe a couple years now. And uh, I just need to start clearing stuff out. It's just too much stuff. But that's a nice vacuum right there. That I know that works for sure. I tried that out. Brand new, unused. Uh, nice little Schwinn tricycle. Check that out. I did notice on this when I made a video last time when I found it. At the time, I didn't realize in a video I saw. It's got a little protector nut on it. On this side, for some reason, there's a bolt sticking out of it. I think what has happened is someone has made some kind of re repair job to this. Because that wheel doesn't spin real freely. I mean, you have to pedal to make it move. But, uh, that one doesn't really spin either. But, uh, I think it might have a slight problem. I think maybe you just need to loosen it up. I don't know. It's, it's definitely too tight. It's not spinning freely. But that's a nice little swing. Somebody out there that I'm sure could fix that little problem real quick. It might just be bent, actually. The actual might be bent. I don't know. But it is functional, though. I mean, it does move when you pedal it. A little stiff. Build up your kid's legs, I suppose. <laughs> And uh, let's see, you'll put that bad boy right there. And then the sewing machine, little singer. I don't know if this works or not. Singer, simple. That's an awfully clean. Got the foot pedal for it. Right here, there it is. Someone who sews a lot could take that home and probably have a working sewing machine if they want 
If not, you can take it to the scrapyard. Get a few few uh, cents. <laughs> Prices on scrap are so low. The most the most valuable part of this would be the probably the cord. Okay, a little dog leash. I would keep this for myself as a backup, but I like the corded ones, the circular ropes. This is like what they call a ribbon type. I mean, it's, it works good. It's not bad. I said I just personally like the the, the round circular ones better. Because when the light leash gets all the way pulled out, the ribbon ones have a tendency to stick for one reason or the other. You know what I mean? They don't rewind right away. But anyways, maybe I just had bad experience with one. Maybe they're not all like that. But anyways, the ribbons also kind of twist a little bit. But it's still a really good leash. And then uh, a couple little chisels here. A little chisel action never hurt. I think that's a uh, cobalt once upon a time, maybe. That one there looks like it's got some age to it. That yellow ambery type material, plastic stuff. That's generally an older one. That could be from like the 50s or 60s, maybe. Maybe. Okay, and then I found this little uh, utility tool deal. This is a nice little deal. Put that on your belt, your work belt, Sheffield. I don't think that's too bad of a brand. It's, it's a little uh, utility deal. It's got pliers and little snips and some blades and bottle opener and a little utility tool. It's nice. And then a nice little knife over here. It's got a little razor knife on it. It looks like it's totally, uh, well, no, there's a few marks on it. Looks like it has been used very minimally and then uh, some blades on that so that's a nice little nice little set right there that won't last long in here i would keep it for myself but i just <laughs> like the day before i found that i found even a nicer little utility deal that's actually in here let's see show it to you i put it straight in my straight in my tool set Little, little uh, Gerber. I think Gerber is a little higher level brand. It's all metal. I can just feel it's a little heavier too. I think it's got maybe a little more gizmo in there. But or else I'll keep that one. Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird sometimes when I find stuff. Like I won't find one of those utility deals for six months or a year, and then I'll find back to back. You know. And now that I talk about it, I'll probably find one next few days or something stupid. Here's some little fish aquarium rocks. I was going to keep for myself, of course. And just can't go around keeping everything. Put these guys right down here. Those are nice little rocks, though. You can see they're used. They're, they're still tinted green from algae. But uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Just as long as you rinse them off real good before you put them in your tank. There's nothing living on there this amount of time. Uh, let's see where you want to go, Mr. Shade. How about Mr. Lampshade goes on Mr. Vacuum? Okay, and then light bulb action. Get rid of some of these light bulbs I got laying around. Everyone needs light bulbs. There's a nice little, cup, uh, little mason jar cup. That's actually not a mason jar, but it's that style. It's kind of nice. I can see. Nice hot summer day, throwing some, some iced tea in that little dude. Think about that, put that right over there. Okay, and that little uh, serving bowl. I've actually got the matching serving bowls to this. Uh, a little smaller than this, I've got like four of them. I don't know if it's the same brand, but it's almost identical style. I like that style, I was gonna keep it for myself, but it's kind of a theme keep stuff for myself <laughs> and then I'll be a hoarder cool collar ultimate collar no matter what your outdoor something or other it's got a six dollar sticker on it researched and tested by dr. Gordon PhD director exercise physiology Institute of for aerobics research Dallas Texas um, I'm not sure what that is <laughs> cool collar I think it's a similar deal to this. 
We've got it wrapped around her neck. That's probably something you put in the fridge or freezer. After you work out, just probably throw that around your neck, cool you down. Uh, little AT&T U-Vars. I got some e-waste here. E-waste department over here. Little PS2. I don't know if it works. I think it might. Well, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I test there or not. I had this laying around for a long time. <laughs> some of the stuff I find I could have sold on eBay or something. But uh, I sat around so long, it's getting outdated. I couldn't sell stuff for eBay on eBay for a long time, so I probably found that maybe four years ago. This is a little tube flaring kit. I showed this on a video. This will be nice for the right person out there. I was gonna scrap it, but it's almost worthless to scrap. For the right person, this is probably a nice little deal. So enjoy that. Central Forge tube flaring kit, seven pieces. Can be used with lightweight steel, copper, and aluminum tubing. So it's kind of neat. You still, that bug's still alive. You alive, bug? Get out of the way. Oh, box elder bug. Oh, it's cold in here, boy. You better find somewhere warm. I'm going to put you on your back. Well, he's about to have it anyway. Okay. He's going to have this little... It says drive to win on it. It's a little unused. Probably salesman. Some kind of rep. Gear, it's got a little calculator, a little unused notebook deal. It's kind of dusty. This stuff disappears pretty quick from here. I put quite a few things like that in here. Okay, I got a little figurine. It's got a warning sticker on the bottom. This product is intended for decorative purposes only. What else would you use it for? Uh, anyways, that's nice little, kind of nice looking little deal. Uh, flint replacements. I still got the guy's name on them. Should cross that out. But a couple of discs. They're beat up pretty good, but if you want to give something your dog to chew on or some shoot actually i might keep that one it's not a bad look well let's see it's got a pretty bad nick right there oh, keep that for myself but, uh, let that one go those might be better off as dog toys the driver's not too bad the putter's not too bad. Neither one are too bad, but they're definitely seen some use. Anyways, I got a couple of little New Testaments to go with this New Testament. Proverbs and Psalms. And we got the Holy Bible, New, Inter New International Version. Uh, Mr. Tools got to go. Put Mr. Tool over here. Looks like there's a page marked with some some tooth floss or something. <laughs> see what we're dealing with. Get rid of that. Okay. And there's a little bag of plastic bags. Uh I think they're little plastic bags in there. A plastic bag full of plastic bags. That's what everyone needs, more plastic. Some nice little mugs. 
was tempted to keep some of this for myself, but that one's got chip on it, unfortunately. I'm make a nice little soup mug. It's the season for soup. Actually, all these are nice little soup mugs. That's a nice one there. Uh, another one. This one's real big. That one's got some good, good space in there. I guess it's the same one as the green. Never mind. Something about that color made it look big off the bat. And then this little dish. It's nice, like a little mini casserole dish. Uh, I think it's Corningware. Corning, Corning, Corningware is good brand. Correct. Yeah, Corning. Corningware. That's what it says. 700 milliliters. I think is what that says. F43B, 700 milliliters, Corningware, I do believe. It's nice. I'll keep that for myself, but I'm gonna turn into a hoarder. I almost watched one of those hoarding shows the other night. I saw it on the guide. I just couldn't bring myself to watch another one of those. It's just, <laughs> it's so awful. Uh, hose repair mender. That's for mending your your busted hoses. Half inch. Uh, I've got uh, two of those. That's a little different style. The different hole. No, that's five eighths inch. There, five inch, just three quarter inch. That might be for garden hose. I think garden hoses are three quarter. Garden hoses might be an inch. Anyways. Two different sizes hose repair menders. Those can come in handy. And I got a little screwdriver action. Didn't have the hard scrap that, especially at two cents a pound. It's, uh, it's a nice little screwdriver. Little knapsack deal. Play hard, have fun. Crownawards.com. Not sure what that is. But, uh, Put this up here in the bag section. Okay, I'm getting there. And another one of these, these disappear real quick. Uh, touring items, type S. A little sun, sun shield for your, your car windshield to protect your dashboard and your interiors. And this little stool is nice. I like these little ones I have some of these in my storage unit that I used to use quite often back in the days when I would uh, take the time to clean up scrap metal and stuff when I was suspended from eBay my pre YouTube days uh, this is nice the, it's comfortable and it just fits just about anywhere and I could throw it in the back of my scooter if I wanted and there's another box elder but I got box elder bugs all over the place Look at that. That's right, shoot, I came here the other day and there was just tons of them at the bottom of the door. Anyways, uh, where are we gonna put this guy? I'm gonna put this guy out here like this. Nice little chair. Okay, some clothes have disappeared. Still got some nice amount of clothing in here. Uh, all the shoes are gone except for that one pair. That's about the lowest quality pair of shoes I ever put in here, so it's no surprise they're still here. They would be good though for like if you're gonna go camping or something, fishing, something you could wear in the creek in the mud, and just something you could ruin, you know. But uh, anyways, sounds like it's spread this out a little bit now that I'm done. That's about right, how do you think? Little info bits over here. If you're coming off the interstate, trying to uh, get all the states in here, let's see. Uh, I had a, I, I did pretty good draw on this thing initially. I got kind of, kind of goofed up down here. And then I, I realized how funny it's going to be to see what the map looks like. <laughs> so now we've got Nebraska. And we still need uh, South Dakota and North Dakota. I guess that's about right. I think it's going to... 
make them a little skimpy. But uh, Iowa and Minnesota, that's going to be kind of huge. <laughs> actually, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, a little space between Texas and Oklahoma. But uh, as I think Washington might be a tad small. <laughs> uh, I made Hawaii the same size as Alaska. I don't think that's correct. But uh, it'll be interesting if we can get some more of that filled in, see what it looks like. Okay, that's it. Let me make my thumbnail. Turn the light up. Something about like this. Let's see. Get everything in there. Something like so. Put the thumb right, right. Put the thumb. How do I get that? Put the thumb right here. That's too bright. Two, three, four. Is that enough to see everything? Yeah, that should be good. I sure hope you enjoyed the show. I sure appreciate you watching and upper, or doing the ad revenue. The combination for this is going to be down in the description. It's 32, 222. I just be leaving it in the open position and locking it like this. Oh, I think that might be busted now. Oh, there it goes, locked. It's in the open position. It's 32, 2, 22. Uh, it'll always be down in the description in the combination. Be careful when you open it. I'm really starting to get that bent up there now. But uh, you want to take this lock all the way out if you're going to open the door all the way up. But uh, let's see, where was I? As always, thanks for watching. I already did the thumbs up, didn't I? Oh, well. Interstate 49, Johnson Mill Boulevard, exit, exit 69. You gotta go east on Johnson Mill Boulevard. Johnson Mill. Gonna take a right. take a right on Wilkerson at the Easy Mart convenience store. There it is, Johnson Mini Storage. 6004 Wilkerson in Johnson. That's unit number 81. So it's Interstate 49, exit 69, Johnson Mill Boulevard. Hanging right on Main Drive, hanging right on Wilkerson, 6004 Wilkerson.